What do you think your personal contributions have been to uh, uh, forwarding the, the leadership agenda amongst, amongst Hispanics? I mean, I, I, I've read your bio and I've seen you in action, so I know quite a bit. But I, w I want you to share a little bit of what you've done personally to kind of promote the leadership agenda and, and initiatives that, you, that you've done. I've, I've done a lot of my work mostly through, uh, first and foremost, inside companies. Uh, I've been on a couple of boards and a couple of trustees, uh, a trustee of several companies, whether it was a junior college system or it was a big scholarship fund uh, and others where I've tried to kind of influence across the broad, but mostly I've done my work inside companies. And a lot of that has been creating, first and foremost, an environment in which the company was willing to look across all its employees uh, for the best talent purely on a meritocracy basis, and then secondly, understand that because of circumstances, some people were starting at different places than others, and that they ought to take an extra step and actually accelerate women and minorities at a faster clip, not to catch up, but to just give them the boost that they may not have had naturally, hold them accountable. Secondly, I've done a lot of work through ERGs, and in the ERGs, particularly around Latino ERGs, making sure that associates knew more about the company knew what the opportunities were both inside and outside and that they had the vision and then the opportunity to go. And then in that regard, uh, every company I've ever worked for, I have always, whenever we've done our leadership reviews, always created a requirement that you put together the most promotable, highest potential diverse candidates in the company. So if you think just naturally of numbers and you think about Caucasians, the ones that look like high potentials are people you see every day, but lower in the organization or in different places in the organization are a bunch of diverse people who have just as much potential. So I've always found ways to identify them and always found ways to think about accelerating their careers. So mostly inside of companies, mostly around systems, and mostly around pushing leaders around the idea that they're not getting all of it. You know, they're getting it from people that are like themselves, but they're missing big opportunities. And the guys that figure out how to get all the best are the guys that win. 